So today I'm bringing you one of my favorite waterfalls to photograph and I'm sure you've probably seen this waterfall before. I've used it on my intro once, that's the one that comes down and then goes back in reverse. <laughs> National Creek Falls is west of Crater Lake and the hike down to the falls is it's easy it's all downhill <laughs> on the way up it's pretty steep but it's it's only half mile so that's not that's not a terrible hike the view is definitely worth it very relaxing very peaceful but there's a special reason I wanted to come back to this waterfall today and I'll show you here in a minute So something I really like about starting my YouTube journey here is that now there's companies that send me gear to make videos of. The first one was the, the gimbal, the phone gimbal, the Home X Steady 2. And that was really cool. But now I got something else I'm gonna show you. I had another company approach me and they sent me the Seekway. Seekway water shoes, and look at these. I haven't used them yet, but they're super lightweight. They're water shoes, uh, supposed, they're supposed to dry really fast, and I can't wait to try them out. That's why I came to this waterfall. I was here last July, July 19th, and I took some pictures, and I'm not gonna say they're not good, but they could be better. <laughs> if you watch my channel, I'm always trying to improve. And this is one of those places that I really want to nail it. So I came back today, I got water shoes that I can now use and get in the water because that's the best place to photograph this waterfall. So let me see what I can do. They fit and they're comfortable. Woo! So the first thing I'll say is it's cold. The water is very cold. Uh, the shoes are actually nice. They're tough. I'm gonna be so wet. Wow, this is beautiful. Let me show you. That's National Creek Falls, and now my camera is soaked. But I like the light, and I think I'm trying to find the composition here. Uh, I need to go get my towel to wipe the camera off. So, the idea here is trying to frame the waterfall with the bottom, with this rock that's right here. Uh, and then right now it's on video, so when I uncrop, it's gonna go bigger. The problem is the mist is terrible. <laughs> There's a lot more water than we had here last time I came, so this is gonna be a little bit more challenging. But let's see what I can do. Okay, so the spray is a lot right there what I want to set up. I get the rapids going up and it leads right into the, the waterfall that I think looks really good. Uh, with a shutter speed of about a tenth of a second, I get nice texture on the water. But the spray is just too much. <laughs> I hope I got a couple of images. I took a few, wiped the, the filters, do it again, wipe it, do it again. So I'm hoping they're gonna look good. Uh, I'm gonna switch to this side. There's a couple of rocks here, the way the water flows, right over here. I'm trying to keep the camera out of the way of the spray. I think that's going to look really cool. Uh, my feet are numb. <laughs> the shoes are not warm. And I hope they're really fast drying because I don't want to have wet feet all the way back to the house. But anyway, let me recompose. Let me move up here away from the mist. I don't know if you can see it. The waterfall is roaring. Uh, I guess there's a lot of snow melt right now and that's where we get in so much water. I haven't seen it this full in, in ages. But let me move over there, try again and see what I can do. So I walked across the creek 
and there's no spray here. All the spray is right there and that looks beautiful, but I'm gonna get sprayed. <laughs> I might try that here shortly. For now, I'm gonna try to compose an image from this side. Now that the sun is lighting up these rocks, the texture might look really cool. So, I like how this falls down here, I don't know. Let me play around and see if I can find a good composition and, and finally get a, an image and I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm done, I'm not coming back here again. I think I got a couple of images that I'm happy with, but I really like that shelf down there. So to get those, I have to get rid of the microphone because the camera's gonna get really wet. So let me make it back to the other side where I can store everything safely. <laughs> Hope I don't slip. Huh. I don't remember if I renewed my camera insurance. My camera is soaked and so am I. <laughs> that spray is terrible, it's awesome. I mean, it, it, it feels incredible, the energy of the water. It just feels incredible. But I think I did get the picture I wanted. What I had to do was wipe the lens, put the camera down and then wait. As soon as I felt the, the mist stop, I would turn, turn the camera around, take a few pictures. And by the third picture, the, it was completely covered in, in water again. I do think I got a really good image. I'm gonna pop it here in the screen so you can see it. I really like how these rocks, the waterfalls cascading, just kinda, just made the, the picture so much better than anything I've ever taken here. For all these pictures, I'm using a 15 millimeter lens and that is a very wide angle on a full frame camera. The best tip I can share with you how to get better looking images and, and pop that drama out of your photographs is to get close. Find a subject that you like that complements the background and get close. Get as close as you can to that subject and that's gonna make it pop. That's gonna make the image look a lot more dramatic. It's gonna make that image look so much better. The shoes, very comfortable. Uh, they're not dry yet, I just got out of the water. I'm gonna hike back with them to the, to the truck. It's about a half a mile hike, so they're supposed to be fast drying. Let's see if they dry up in that time. So I made it back to the truck and the shoes are very comfortable. I did pick up quite a few little rocks here and there, but they, they actually did pretty well. They're not dry. They're fast drying, but they're not dried yet. Uh, Sequay, the company that sent me the shoes, they, they offered me a 20% coupon code down in the description. So if you're interested in water shoes, there's a link down below for 20% off your water shoes. And it comes in all colors, shapes, and sizes. So go ahead and check it out. They're, they're really cool. They're comfortable and uh, my feet were fine in the water. <laughs> if you like waterfalls, last year I made a, uh, a video on waterfalls down here in the highway of the waterfalls, Highway 138 in Southern Oregon. It's west of Crater Lake. Uh, so I'm gonna pop that video up here for you if you haven't seen it. Please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a thumbs up, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.